Hi everybody, welcome back. We are now going to see thermodynamic behavior of an ideal Fermi gas. For an ideal Fermi gas, the two equations PV by NKT which is log of grand partition function is plus sigma epsilon log 1 plus z e to the power minus beta epsilon. Remember in the case of uh, Bose gas, here we had negative sign, here, here and here we had negative sign. For the Fermi gas, we have positive symbol here. The number of particles in the system, which is summation over all the uh, occupation numbers of the single particle states, sigma epsilon 1 over z inverse e to the power beta epsilon plus 1. In the case of Bose gas, we had minus here. So these are the two equations using which we derive thermodynamic properties of an ideal Fermi gas. Here a set can take un unrestricted values. Set actually takes values from 0 to infinity. Remember in the Bose-Einstein case, Z varied from 0 to 1. Here, uh, n epsilon, uh, the mean occupation number is 1 by Z inverse e to the power beta epsilon plus 1. So the mean occupation number, its uh, minimum value is 0. When it is 0, we know the Z has to be 0. Because we, had, we have Z inverse here. So when Z equal to 0, this term will become infinite and an epsilon will be 0. And when an n epsilon is 1, the mean occupation number is 1, the maximum, its maximum possible value 1. You know, when one, uh, n epsilon is 1, z has to be infinity. When z is infinity, z inverse will be 0 and you will get 1 by 1. Okay, so uh, here note that z uh, can take values from 0 to infinity. Okay, another thing is we are just comparing this thing with the ideal Bose gas because of the Pauli exclusion principle. Uh, the question of a large number of particles occupying the same single particle state does not arise in this case. So, remember Bose Einstein condensation. We know Bose-Einstein condensation is large number of particles accumulating, crowding in, in a single uh, particle state, in the ground state. But that phenomena will not occur here because of the Pauli exclusion principle, which permits the maximum of only one particle in a given state. And uh, But here, at sufficiently low temperatures, Fermi gas displays its own kind of quantum behavior okay even though it does not uh, show uh, the condensation phenomena as in the case of bose einstein gas we have some other different kind of quantum behavior at low temperatures okay now what we are going to do is in the equation one and two we are replacing the summation by the integral as we have done in the Bose gas. We are replacing the summation by integral. Integral d cube q d cube p or h cube okay, that we know and doing all those uh, processing simplification we get this relation p by kt equal to g by lambda cube f i by it of z and by v equal to g by lambda cube f3 by it of z. So just as in both systems we have two equations, one equation p by kt for p by kt and the other for n by v, the particle density. And on the right hand side uh, we see some unfamiliar terms g Okay, G here, it is a weight factor arising from the internal structure of the particle. Okay, uh, for example, spin. 
So for fermions, we introduce a weight factor okay, arising from the internal structure of the particles. For example, if spin is half, uh, the g, the factor g will be 2 because there will be two states plus half and minus half. Okay, so that's why we have g here. And what is f? f is the Fermi Dirac function. This is called Fermi Dirac function. Okay, remember the Bose Einstein function that we used in the ideal Bose gas. Here we have the Fermi Dirac function, and uh, that is 1 over gamma uh, nu. Okay, 1 over, 1 over gamma nu. F nu of z is 1 over gamma nu integral 0 to infinity x x to the power nu minus 1 over z inverse e to the power x plus 1 dx that is equal to z minus z square uh, over 2 to the power nu plus z cube 3 to the power nu minus so this is an infinite series okay so f nu of z the fermi dirac function uh, has this integral form and this series form Okay, now lambda, we all know that is the mean thermal wavelength of the particle, which is h over root 2 pi mkt. That is the mean thermal wavelength of the particles. So, these are the two equations uh, that is with us. And from this, we are going to... Uh, derive certain properties the first thing is the equation of state how do we get the equation of state of the fermi gas eliminating set between 3 and 4 okay eliminating set between 3 and 4 you can get the equation of state so what we do is we write this f3 byte of offset which is a series okay in terms of set uh, F3 by 2 set, you know, that will be n lambda cube by GV. And what we do is, uh, we invert the series, that is, we find set in terms of uh, n by n lambda cube by GV. And then one set is obtained from this. We substitute in the series for Fy by 2 set. Fy by 2 set written in the series form. Here, z minus z square by 2 to the power 5 by 2, z cube uh, divided by 3 to the power 5 by 2. There, we put the z obtained from equation 4 by inverting the series and we get p by kt, p by kt in terms of this uh, n lambda cube by gv. Okay, so that is the equation of state. So this is what is meant by eliminating z between 3 and 4. Okay, so we get the equation of state. Now let's calculate the internal energy of the Fermi gas. We know uh, the internal energy is given by minus dou by dou beta of log. Set the grand partition function. If it is canonical ensemble, we will have minus dou by dou beta of log q the partition function since we are now using the grand partition function concept we have u equal to minus dou by dou beta of log of the grand partition function in terms of temperature you know beta is 1 by kt so in terms of temperature this will be kt square dou by dou t log of the grand partition function so this is kt square okay uh, kt square uh, dou by dou t this is dou by dou t of gv by lambda cube log z log z is log of the grand partition function is what pv by kt okay Gr log of the grand partition function is P pv by kt p by kt we know it is g by lambda cube fy by tau z so that we substitute here we have this log of z is equal to gv by lambda cube fy by 2 z and we have to differentiate this with respect to temperature 
remember that here set and v is constant this is uh, the fugacity this set is the fugacity that is constant fugacity is constant volume constant so uh, we are applying it here so uh, this will be dou by kt square dou by dou t of this and we know this lambda contains the temperature okay lambda contains the temperature lambda is h over root 2 pi m k t so we have to differentiate with respect to the lambda has to be differentiated with respect to temperature the rest of the terms comes outside uh, come outside the uh, differential so we have this gv by you differentiate this and uh, uh, by taking a tem temperature t from here you can write it in this form okay so this is 3 by 2 kt g by lambda q for v what i am doing is i can get v from this from this and by v is this so i can obtain expression for v from this so that is substituted here okay for v i am substituting this so uh, by cancelling uh, certain terms which appear in both in the numerator and denominator lambda cube okay uh, that appears both in the numerator and denominator g get cancelled and what you get is this final expression u equal to 3 by 2 and kt f5 by 2 of z by f3 by 2 of z so this is equation 6 okay now what we do is we uh, write this f5 by 2 of z okay f5 by 2 of z is what f5 by 2 of z is p lambda cube by g k t okay similarly f3 by 2 of z is n lambda cube by g v okay so from this 3 and 4 i can get f5 by 2 of z and f3 by 2 of z so that i give here okay so that i give here so we have u equal to 3 by 2 and kt uh, p lambda q by g k t and lambda q by g v so several terms get cancelled and you finally get 3 by 2 p v and pressure is 2 by third of the energy density for the ideal Bose gas also we had obtained this expression pressure equal to 2 by third of the energy density